right uh good day guys let's hope everyone is well and in good care welcome to our new term right okay so um we are using this booklet the second booklet that i gave to you uh which is economics paper 2 core notes and questions okay so i'm gonna go straight to page uh, 58 where we are going to do the last topic I'm just gonna finish the last topic for last term which is uh, market failures but we are going to do the cost benefit analysis that's that's what we are going to do all right so we are starting from here this is where we are going to start from Right, so we are going to start from this uh, subject of uh, cost-benefit analysis. So what is cost-benefit analysis? This is the question that is put here. So on cost-benefit analysis, we are saying it is a technique for enumerating and evaluating the total costs, the total social cost, okay, and total cost, uh, total social benefit. So in other words, the umbrella terms is cost and benefit. Okay. So with an economic word project. So what are we basically doing here on this one? We are saying uh, having implemented a certain project or any project in the community, what is the cost? What is the social cost? Social cost, we are talking about... Um, what is the effect to the, what, the community as a whole? Okay, that's, that's what is what we mean by social cost. So, negative way or negative impact to the, what, the community, that is what we mean by social cost. Then, social benefit, it's opposite to our social cost. We are saying, what is that the community is going to benefit from what? From your project. Then, uh, we weigh. Okay, so in other words, we have what we call pros and what and cons. Okay, so we are going to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of having that. Okay, so which means these are the disadvantages. Then these are advantages. Okay, so basically, if advantages are more than disadvantages, which means we can uh, implement or we can go on with the what with the project. But then, if disadvantages are more than advantages, then we are forced to drop off the other project. That's what we have there. Okay. So, now we are going to the private sector. Uh, we have uh, a comparison needs to be made between expected private cost and uh, private uh, benefits over the estimated time span of the, word, of the new project. Then we go, a feasibility study needs to be done. Is it feasible for us to, uh, to have this project? That's, that's what you mean by, uh, by that. Then provision must be made for legal uh, aspects. Then we go to the public sector. A comparison needs to be made between expected social costs and benefits over the estimated time of the, uh, of the new project. Then a cost-benefit analysis must be what must be made. So this is what we have there. Okay. So we have private sector and public sector. Then when should a cost benefit analysis be done? All right. So we come here. This is where we are. It is usually applied to those projects where it is expected there will be a significant what difference between private and social cost and what and benefits okay so on the private cost here we have private cost here and social cost here so private cost you remember on what i said private cost we are talking about any cost that accrues to the what to the individual but now if we sum up or if we accumulate that cost of individuals then it becomes a social what social cost okay so let's take for example um any cost that is uh david in caring or that is 
accruing toward David. It is a private cost. But now if we say David and maybe um, Sarah, okay, that one, if we, if we sum up those costs, they become what? They become what you call um, social costs. So that's the difference between private cost and what in social cost. In case they may ask you to distinguish between the two. Okay. So now, the social benefits must always exceed social at cost. Okay. So for us to go on with the word with the project or to proceed with the project, we are saying the benefits, they must always be bigger than what they must exceed cost. The benefits, they need to exceed what? Cost. In other words, social costs or social benefits or the benefits that that may be um, found or benefit uh, the, the community, they must be more or they ex must exceed what? The cost. So then CBA is generally used by the word by the government. So all the, all the projects that are implemented by the government, they use CBA or cost benefit what? Analysis. Okay. Now we go to the rationale of cost benefit analysis. This one you put in B, usually it comes in the exam. CBA helps to make better decisions on how scarce resources are allocated to satisfying ones. This is the benefit of part of having a cost benefit analysis. You 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 will act, you will actual, uh, actually know on how to share or to allocate the, the scarce resources. All right, okay, you'll be very careful there. Then the second bullet there involves making decisions based on comparing economic what benefits with economic cost of a what of a project. Then we move on. The feasibility of the project is determined by subtracting costs from benefits. Okay, so that's what we have there. Then if the difference is positive, benefits greater than costs, then the project will be undertaken. This is what is very, very important. I think you need to highlight this. Right, okay. Then you move on. Besides efficient use of what resources, we, uh, CBA also ensures the right combination of goods uh, to be produced. You see that. Right, so on cost-benefit analysis, it will make you also to, uh, on allocation of resources, to maximize on what, on, uh, on um, the best combination of what of goods to be produced. Then we go on. It also provides us with deciding alternative solutions to specific what problems. You see that. So on the solutions, it's very, very important. Alternative what solutions. Okay, that's a project that maximizes benefits compared to costs should be what? Chosen. So any project that uh, maximizes on the what on the benefits compared to what the cost, it, it, it must be what it must be chosen. Then you move on. There is a need to consider the time value of money because the project will only okay in the what in the future. Then therefore, future benefits. And the costs are discounted to present what to present what to present values. Okay, so we are we are trying to say when whenever we are implementing what the projects, we must use the current value of what of money. If inflation is hitting on our currents, which means the value that is there is what we use to what to uh, value the other projects. Right. Okay. If it is gaining, the same. Okay. Then you go, uh, in the market economy, resources are allocated through interaction of what demand and supply in the market. Right, okay, so we are saying um, resources, they are allocated through interaction of what demand and supply in the market. Okay, so that's what we have there. Then we move on, decisions by people or businesses and governments are important for the world for the society. So it involves allocation of scarce what 
resources. All right, okay. Then you move on. The right combination of goods and services must be produced to satisfy needs and one and ones. Then last one. Bring subjectivity to decision making. Identify relevant benefits and cost of project and quantify them in money terms to make what? Informed decisions. Okay. So all in all, with this section, we are trying to say how is it of importance to, uh, to implement cost-benefit analysis, okay? So on CBA, how is it going to be of what of importance? That is what I mean by the rationale of cost-benefit analysis. So it is quite difficult or very bad, in other words, to just implement projects without calculating the what the CBA or the benefits uh, against the what the, the costs okay so cost benefit analysis it's all about that then we move on we go to to the next one page 50 seven stages of what of cba or cost benefit analysis i know we are not going to take time here because i'm just here to finish this topic identification and qualification of all private costs. So these are the seven stages. We are going to start with identification of what or and quantification of all private costs. Okay. Right. Then identification and quantification of all external what? costs. So these are the types of costs that we are trying to what? we are trying to cal calculate or identify or quantify. Then the third one, calculation of social costs. These are the private costs and external costs added together. So social cost is what? Is a private cost plus external cost. I think I did it on the externalities. Then the fourth one, identification and quantification of what? Private benefits. Okay. Then we go external benefits also. If you quantify that, then if we add together, we have what we call social what? Benefits. Okay. So we add private benefits and external benefits, then we get what social benefits. Then the last one, we are going to do comparison of our social cost with social benefits. Okay. So always this one, for us to go on with what with the project, we are saying social benefits must be greater than social cost or social cost must be less than what social benefits. Then we go to application there. Usually applied to those projects where it is expected there will be a significant difference between private and social costs and benefits. So examples, a new highway through a densely populated area will have high social costs, while a large dam in a dry urban area will have high social benefit. Okay, so the, private, the project will usually go ahead if the social benefits exceed social what? cost. What are the benefits of having what a big large dam or a huge dam in a dry what urban area? Okay, it's gonna be of benefit. Then we go to uses. CBA is used for, for instance, where the government wants to produce output for which consumers will not pay. Okay, All right. When public and private sectors try to make sure that society is making the best use of its rare resources okay so not the following or any being cost benefit ratio is cbr when the cost benefit ratio is below one the project reduces the welfare of the community or society at large when the cost benefit ratio is above one okay so you need to take care of this the project will benefit the community Okay, so that's what we have there. Right, okay. So that's the end of our um, uh, cost-benefit analysis. We have uh, there the, the table and example there. Okay, we have the formula for calculating what the cost-benefit what ratio. We are going to say present value of economic, economic benefits over present value of what economic costs. Okay. Thank you.